for today's video we're going to be doing another one on the 155 grain seven millimeter cutting edge match tactical hunting bullets last time we didn't quite get down as low as they rate these two so we're going to do some more reduced loads trying to get down around or below that 1600 feet per second mark flip the blocks and then i'm going to shoot the high velocity load this time out of a 7 mm rim mag to test a little bit higher yet And that one did not open, just tumbled in the gel. Does not look like we caught it in our board either. So we'll bump it up a little higher yet, because that one impacted the gel at around 1,103 feet per second. And that one, same thing, came in, hard tumble, but bounced back up in the gel this time. And you can see, complete, didn't even think about opening. And we're at 1,467. And that one opened up, penetrated all the way through. And it is right there with pedals shed. One thousand six hundred and thirty six feet per second. Let's see, you can see that a tad better from this side, so I'll take my measurements from this side. And we have it opening up at approximately three inches of penetration. First shed pedal is at ten and a half. We've got one at ten and seven eighths, and another pedal at eleven and a quarter. And our overall total penetration was through both blocks for over 31 inches of total penetration. The larger portion of the permanent wound cavity created by that shot is just shy of 3 inches. So overall at that low velocity, not too bad a performance.
going to be in my high-tech police bolt trap somewhere, so I'll find it later. That one started to open up at about an inch and a quarter, carrying that better portion of that permanent wound cavity from the two and a half inch mark to just past the nine inch mark. Still carrying some permanent wound cavity past about the 15 inch mark. And then there's an extra hole in my bag, so it went through both blocks. I do not see shed pedals just like that last video I did with the 7mm08 high load it's almost like the open up quick and little pieces are lost or the slow velocity rolls back and loses bigger chunks but overall looks like it did a decent job that one in back to the gel somewhere around 2883 feet per second larger portion of that permanent wound cavity it's about three and a quarter so overall not too bad at performing bullets I think their their Maximus line definitely performs a little bit better uh, in gelatin tests but don't hold quite as good a BC's but overall I think these would be a pretty darn good hunting bullet as long as you keep those impact velocities over 1600 feet per second and there's probably not really a high end to them hope you guys enjoy the video